In this video, we're going to develop and deploy a database-driven Flask application using uh, Vercel and MongoDB Atlas. I've always been a fan of Vercel and I've used them for JavaScript applications, but I've never before thought of using them as a deployment platform for Flask applications, especially ones that have a database system or database requirement for that application because Vercel is of a static based Lambda function or also called serverless framework. So naturally you wouldn't think about having a database driven application on a serverless framework or, or platform. What I'm going to show you now is a totally free stack. The only thing that you would need to pay for if you wanted to have a custom domain is for that domain itself. But otherwise you don't have to pay for the infrastructure or for the certificate or even for the database, to be honest, because we're going to use MongoDB Atlas, which is again, like trial, like initially free. If you don't have a lot of data or usage patterns, I have a bunch of small deployments that are for like personal purposes that are just for testing things out and I don't pay anything either. And so we're going to be using a Flask application that has a factory pattern that will have MongoDB as the database storage. But this can also work with PostgreSQL. There are cloud-based PostgreSQL platforms as well. We're going to start by signing up on Vercel. Typically, I'll use GitHub or you can use GitLab or Bitbucket, whatever you prefer. But let's do it with GitHub. And I need to sign in. And after that, we should be all set to go. Select a username and we can go into the overview and we have no projects yet. So we're going to start doing our project now. The next thing we want to do is select a project to deploy on Vercel. Of course, we're going to be writing any project that we want. But in, in our case, since I want to do this quickly, I'm just going to use the Flask MongoDB boilerplate that I have on my repository that you're more than welcome to fork or clone. And uh, this is going to give us an opportunity to deploy this to Vercel using, uh, like I said, MongoDB Atlas. So we're going to check out this code in my case, because I have my, this is my own user. I'm going to just check out the code. But in your case, like I said, you can do your own code base or you can fork this for testing purposes. Let's take a quick look at this uh, repository. So I'm going to open my editor. So what this application does, it sets up a counter that every time you open or you hit the, the root path, it will start from one and then increase the number every time you refresh the page. It's a very simple application. It has uh, its own tests, so that's all good. What we want here is a setup for Vercel to understand how to kickstart this application. Now, typically I add a whiskey.py because on production environments, you will not run this using a flask run. You would do something like a Gunicorn. And typically Gunicorn runs and I have that on the readme by doing typically you would do Gunicorn and then uh, whiskey colon app, which is imported here from the factory as equals create app, which is actually coming from application py, which is this create app function that returns the app itself. Now, what we need to do here is to add a file that Vercel is going to look for, which is the index py. Now I tried setting up manage py as the as a Kickstarter for it, and it doesn't really uh, work. I think it's maybe hard coded to, to look for an index py, so we need to add that file. So in any case, manage py just so you like visualize it will be run when you have this application running locally. But whiskey is going to be our friend on 
any production or even staging environments. And we're going to need to add an index py. So I'm going to add it now, which is going to be just used by Vercel. And it's one line. It's, it's just from whiskey import app. So it's going to leverage the whiskey file and grab the app from there. And that's pretty much ev everything you need to do. So you have your factory application like pattern. You have your whiskey file if you're going to deploy this on any production environments. And you have your index if you're going to use uh, Vercel. Before we push our repo to GitHub and then to Vercel, we need one more file for this repository to work on Vercel, and that is a Vercel.json file. It's a simple file. Essentially, we make it version 2. We have the builds, which are sources the index.py file we just created, and it uses this uh, build package, which is the Vercel Python. And then we have the routes, which essentially we're saying anything that has a source of star dash or slash anything, then the destination is the index py handler, which is the application handler. So that's what we need to add on the repository for the Vercel build to succeed. So we save that file. We're almost ready, but now we need a requirements TXT. And the reason is that we're using poetry for this project and Vercel is not gonna, at least doesn't understand at uh, this point what or how to install these packages. It's gonna be expecting a requirements TXT file. So we need to generate a requirements TXT file that we need to add to the template. And so the way we do that is by doing a poetry command that looks as follows. And now as you can see, we have requirements txt that was generated by the poetry file as a requirements txt file that we can now add to the repository. So let's go ahead and add those changes and send them up to our repo in GitHub. And now on our Vercel dashboard, we're going to say we want a new project. Typically, we want to select one of our existing projects, but we haven't connected. Even though we signed up with GitHub, it doesn't give access to repository. So we need to add a GitHub account here. And that's going to go to this like prompt. And th this will install Vercel on your GitHub. So we say install. And now we have our Flax MongoDB boilerplate is available. We click import and it's going to create a project with the name Flask MongoDB boilerplate. I don't think we need to select anything here because these are like typically JSON JavaScript repositories and we have the Vercel JSON file there. So that should be good. Here it says that the main branch is going to be like our main branch and that the folder is the slash folder. But this is going to be all good this will we will need to set up afterwards which is the environment variables and the idea here is that we need to set up some settings for the atlas mongodb database so we'll, we'll set that up in, in a bit but let's just uh, say deploy and we wait till it's, it does its thing. I'm sure it's going to fail because we don't have the MongoDB settings. So let's, let's see if we can fix that or set that up in the settings. Before we do anything on the database side, we need to sign up for a MongoDB Atlas account. Just head over to mongodb.com slash atlas slash database. Let's say try free and we can create an account. You can do it using your name, password, email or you can sign up with Google. Once we accept the terms and uh, fill up a, a short survey, we want to say that we want to create a, a free tier. And we select AWS, just leave like the defaults in there. And we skip this. 
and we typically want to create a username and and password to access the database so i'll set that up so we create the user and next select the cloud environment and put here 0 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 which is access from anywhere for more security you definitely if it's not like a personal application you might want to uh, filter that to the IP addresses where you're going to be accessing the the cluster but for now let's just do world access here so we add that entry and then we finish and close The last step is setting up the Flask environment variables for the repo. So for that, we need to get the connection string for the application. And we do that by going to the cluster information on the project and click on connect. And you'll see these three options. You want to select connect your application. And as you can see here, there's a string that you need to replace the password with the actual password that you selected. But if we copy that, then we're going to be almost ready for getting this up and running. We just need to add the environment variables here on the Vercel to connect to our database. And there's a couple of more Vercel or Flask variables that we need to, to set up. So to do that, we go to the settings of the project. So you go to the Flask MongoDB boilerplate and go to settings here and then environment variables. Now, something interesting that you'll see here is that it has production, preview and development selected. So we can actually define different variables. So for example, if you wanted to have a what they call a preview environment setting that points to a MongoDB Atlas uh, separate database with like test data and then you would have another one for the production connection database to MongoDB for production data you can do that and there's also a development setting you can actually run your application locally using the Vercel CLI but we're not gonna uh, look at that here we're just gonna just set up the three as the same but you're definitely you can set that up so we're gonna need the following variables for the Flask app we're going to say manage, which is manage by. For the MongoDB, we need to name it the same as our Flask env in here. So the database is going to be app. So we need to like basically more or less get this the same variables here. Um, and then we're going to set MongoDB host. And you're going to copy that same string that we had in here but replacing it with the actual password that you have set and we're gonna say flask env is production and finally there's two more secret key even though we don't necessarily need it it's a good practice to set one up I just put like a random string there and then the port for the application is going to be port 80 and that's it so let's go ahead and check out a preview branch and deployment for this application and for that I'm just going to use the editing functions of github to create a quick branch so I'm going to just add the command to export the requirements txt on the readme i'm going to add a section called vercel switch to branch and then we have that edited readme and then go back to github.com and here we'll see that there's a pull request so we compare and add a create a pull request and you'll see that Vercel is now generating things for us. I have some code checks in here, but if we see the details here, it's building the application. So 
that's pretty cool because we have a, a preview version. If we go back now, it says deployment has completed. And let me refresh the page. You see here how it says inspect and preview. So this URL is not the production URL. It's an alternate URL that, that we can call a staging URL, but effectively each PR that you have will have this preview URL. So if we click that and I'm going to open it in a new tab, you'll see that our application is up and running. And if I refresh the page, it's working perfectly well. And so this is pretty cool. Like you have a staging, let's say, version of, of the application running that you can check if the code that you have just worked on works well. And if not, then you can continue doing changes on this PR. And every time you push to it, it will update that. But again, the cool thing here is those variables that we, we saw earlier apply to this environment. So you could have an alternate database running here that has test data. And so you don't pollute your production data. And then you have the production settings that would be separate that would work with this application. So I'm going to merge the pull request and delete the branch. And so now we're selling, see how it says building, because this is going to be the production URL, which is this one here, Flask Mongo MongoDB boil Boilerplate Versal App. We can see the, the details that it says building. You can see a preview there. But here, that's our production URL. Notice that the counter is at 11 because we're using the same database settings or MongoDB strings as the preview. And yeah, this is a Flask factory pattern application running on Vercel. And you can also have an actual domain that you own pointed here. If there's no charge for it. And you can explore that. Uh, uh, maybe I do a quick video on how to do that, but it's really simple. It's just reading the instructions of pointing your domain to the Vercel uh, name server. And, and you'll have your own URL here instead of the Vercel app URL. But that's it. That's how we can get our Flask database driven factory pattern application on Vercel without paying anything and with a, an amazing CI CD pipeline that includes a staging preview URL. And after this, I'm not going back to AWS <laughs> or Google Cloud because this is so easy and, and amazing.